My name is David Savage. I'm a level design student with the Guild Hall at SMU, cohort 16. And in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to import a custom weapon into the Unreal Development Kit using UDK May 2011. This is part one of a two part video series, and today is June 5th, 2011. First thing you want to do is once you have UDK up, is you're going to want to go to View, Browser Windows, Content Browser. Inside the Content Browser, you can access all the statics, meshes, and textures and we're going to be using all those things to get our gun working or at least implemented now first thing you're going to want to do is click import and you're going to want to locate your diffuse map a few things to remember when you're uh, importing textures targa and psds are the best formats for implementing and you can't really import like jpegs or anything like that also they have to be rgb so things like grayscale will not work finally if you're using a bump map you need to convert it to a normal before bring it, bringing it into UDK. And you can do this with either X normal or Crazy Bump. So let me go ahead and grab my diffuse. And we're going to get this little mini that pops up. And we're going to want to change this to make it easier to find our things because staying organized is really the best practice. So we're going to name this one WP Buzzkill. That's the name of our weapon. So all of our materials and meshes will go into WP underscore Buzzkill. Grouping textures, and this will make a folder within that uh, package. And we're going to want to change the name to something that has a naming convention. So we'll go T underscore WP, so that's texture and then weapon. And that way it's just easier to keep track of all of our little pieces. Under LOD group, we're going to want to change texture group world to texture group weapon and click OK. And that will import the diffuse. Next up, we're going to want to import our normal which we do through the exact same way with only one slight variation. So we have buzzkill normal t underscore wp and we're going to want to change texture group world. Uh, this time we're going to give it texture group weapon normal map. Click OK. And there's our normal. Now we're going to want to import our spec level. And once again follow a naming convention and we're going to change our LOD group now this time to you've probably guessed by now texture group weapons specular click OK and now we should have all three of our textures but textures are never to applied to a mesh directly materials are and a material is essentially a, a collection of multiple textures and effects so before we begin with making a material we're going to go ahead and save our package and that prevents us from losing any data in case something happens to the Unreal Development Kit. It's going to go ahead and take a while to save the first time because it's going to compress uh, all of your textures, which is good. And it'll only take uh, about 10, 10 or 20 seconds the first time. Now you'll notice if we click this arrow, we can see textures. Uh, with a little drop down helps us keep everything sorted and organized. So now we're going to go ahead and make our material. So just right click and in the scroll menu select new material we're going to change the grouping to materials and we're going to go ahead and name this m underscore wp underscore buzzkill underscore mat now i know it seems kind of redundant to have the m for material as well as mat at the end but it just makes it easier when you're scrolling through a bunch of different items to tell what's a material and what's a texture click ok and this will bring up something that looks uh, like the Kismet editor for those of you who have used that. To navigate it you can use uh, right click to move around the menu. Uh, now there's really nothing going on here yet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the content browser and you're gonna wanna select uh, your textures uh, the diffuse. So now that you have the diffuse selected you can come back into the material editor and you're gonna wanna drag it into the texture section grab scene texture or excuse me texture sample drag it and drop it in and since you have the diffuse highlighted in the content browser it will automatically set that as your texture now you just simply have to grab this black tab and hook it up to the diffuse node now if for some reason you grab texture sample and you have the wrong texture or no texture there it's very simple to fix you just go back over into the content browser select the texture that you want 
which will go with our spec level. And then once you click on your texture sample in the material editor, there's a little green arrow you can click. And that will load your content browser selection into your texture sample. And we can go ahead and hook this into our specular level. And finally, we'll come back in and repeat this process one more time to bring in our normal map, which we will then hook up to the normal tab, giving our texture a little bit of depth. You can go ahead and close out of this, and it will prompt you to uh, save the changes to the material. Go ahead and do that. So now we have our material, uh, which you can see here, but we don't have anything to put it on. So we need to go ahead and import the PSK that was uh, created in the previous tutorial.